Have you ever fascinated the reason behind the working of a fire alarm, a refrigerator and ovens? Here is the reason behind that the thermistor. This word is derived from thermally sensitive resistor. There are two types of thermistors are there. The first one is NTC, negative temperature coefficient and the other one is PTC, positive temperature coefficient. In NTC, the temperature increases and the resistivated thermistor will decrease. Let's get started. In this video, I am going to explain the working of a heat sensor and how to make it. This project is similar to my earlier project which is light detecting sensor. You can watch that video by clicking the i button or link in the description. In the light detecting sensor, the sensitivity of the sensor will vary according to the light incident on the sensor and according to that, transistor will switch on or off. Here in this circuit, the resistivity thermistor is depends on the heat. If the thermistor absorbs the heat, then its resistivity will decrease and the transistor will get the base current to switch on the buzzer and LED. And in normal position, the thermistor will have high resistance so that there is no base current in the transistor, so it is remains off. We can adjust the sensitivity of the thermistor using the variable resistor. You can download this circuit from the link given in the description. The components required are 10 kilo ohm NTC thermistor, 1 LED of any color, 1 buzzer, 10 kilo ohm variable resistor, and 1 transistor of BC547 circuit making. Connect the negative terminal of the LED to the collector pin of the transistor BC547. Connect the negative terminal of the buzzer to the positive terminal of the LED. to one end of the thermistor to the base of the transistor and the other end to the positive terminal of the buzzer. Connect the movable contact of the variable resistor to the base of the transistor and the fixed terminal to the emitter of the transistor. Connect the battery positive terminal to the positive terminal of the buzzer and the negative supply to the emitter of the transistor. I can place any heat element or any small matchstick fire near to the thermistor, the LED and buzzer will switch on. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then do subscribe and give a big thumbs up.